Nas Sim Nicholas Taleb, Anti-Fragile, Things That Gain From Disorder. In Anti-Fragile, Things That Gain From Disorder, Nas Sim Nicholas Taleb explores the intriguing concept of anti-fragility. Contrary to fragile items that break under stress, anti-fragile systems flourish amidst volatility and shocks. As you delve into this book summary, you'll discover fascinating examples of anti-fragile systems, such as the evolutionary process and economy, learn how to take advantage of anti-fragility, and understand how modern society negatively impacts this concept. Equipping yourself with these learnings will help you thrive in an unpredictable and volatile world. Anti-fragility through fragile parts. Anti-fragility exemplifies itself in processes like evolution and the economy, thriving on volatility, and growing stronger when confronted with shocks and disturbances. The intriguing aspect of anti-fragile systems is that their individual components are inherently fragile. In the case of evolution, organisms must adapt and mutate to their environment or risk extinction. Their success or failure provides crucial information for the development of life, ultimately enhancing the system's overall quality. Similarly, the economy is composed of both small and large businesses that may display varying degrees of vulnerability. Business failures, such as a startup's collapse, contribute to industry growth by enabling others to learn from the mistakes made and implement refinements in their approaches. In essence, the anti-fragility of any system arises from the dynamic interaction of its fragile constituents, strongly relying on trial and error. Embrace anti-fragility through exercise. Anti-fragility, a phenomenon where stressors and shocks can strengthen systems, is a vital part of our body's response to exercise. When our bodies undergo stress from exercise, they adapt by building excess capacity and muscles to handle any future challenges. This overcompensation and redundancy, although seemingly inefficient, can prove to be life-saving when faced with unexpected stressors. Therefore, it is crucial to embrace anti-fragility through regular exercise, benefiting from the extra muscle and readiness built for emergencies or unforeseen challenges. The Anti-Fragile Economy Anti-fragility, a characteristic often observed in natural systems, refers to the ability to improve and strengthen when faced with failures or stressors. While most artificial systems can only be robust at best, there are exceptions, such as the economy. Economies are anti-fragile due to their intricate and interdependent layers, resembling near-biological systems. However, complexity alone cannot sustain anti-fragility, the presence of volatility is essential. Economic systems develop their anti-fragility as a result of the fragility of their constituent parts, where weaker components die off, strengthening the overall system. Governments attempting to regulate and smooth out economic cycles to achieve tranquility inadvertently remove the stressors vital to its growth, causing misallocation of resources and leaving the economy prone to large-scale damage. Therefore, anti-fragility thrives in volatile environments, while tranquility fosters fragility. Seize anti-fragile opportunities Highly successful traders often lack formal education but possess a keen sense of when to buy and sell in volatile markets. Society tends to overvalue theoretical knowledge and undervalue practical know-how, assuming the former guarantees the latter, which is not always true. Rather than comprehending intricate market principles, recognizing and capitalizing on options, the opportunity without the obligation, is a valuable skill. Options extend beyond stocks, illustrating the significance of seizing anti-fragile opportunities without fully understanding their origins or mechanics. Mastering Anti-Fragility Life is full of unpredictable events, such as economic collapses or natural disasters. To become anti-fragile, embrace these uncertainties and adopt a barbell strategy, prepare for extremes and ignore the middle path. Start by minimizing exposure to high risks. For example, secure 90% of your assets against market collapses. Although these assets may not generate huge profits, they ensure safety. With the remaining 10%, pursue small risks in volatile areas where potential upsides are significant, while the downside is limited. In contrast, 
putting 100% of assets in medium risk areas may result in total loss during adverse events. Managing risks effectively leads to anti-fragility, enabling benefits from unpredictable occurrences. The Global Squeeze Phenomenon When faced with a situation where you have no choice but to act regardless of cost, you experience a squeeze. This type of predicament is the opposite of having options. Squeezes become more difficult to manage as the scale of the entity involved grows. In today's interconnected world, the global economy itself is highly susceptible to squeezes, which can cause cascading impacts. Everyone, from banks to local businesses, is connected through a web of economic interactions, and a shock to the system, like a stock market crash, could lead to widespread consequences. Consequently, the size and complexity of our modern organizations and economies make them even more vulnerable to potential crises. Antifragility's Societal Problem Leading up to the 2008 financial crisis, top financial experts around the world misjudged the situation and failed to predict the economic collapse. Despite their erroneous advice, these so-called experts retained their positions of power and influence, highlighting a concerning issue in our society. Anti-fragility at the expense of others is rampant not just in finance but in many modern professions, where professionals benefit from positive outcomes without suffering from any negative consequences. While these experts can keep benefiting from other people's losses, society must cope with the consequences and damage caused by their actions. During the 2008 financial meltdown, we witnessed an unsettling phenomenon in the financial world as economic experts misread the situation and falsely assured people of the economy's stability. These experts were shielded from the repercussions of their misjudgments due to a close-knit system that didn't critique or penalize their mistakes. Consequently, the consequences of these ill-advised decisions fell upon society at large, causing many to lose their investments, homes, and pensions. This systemic issue of individuals becoming anti-fragile at others' expense is present in various modern professions. These people dodge the consequences of their failures by having no skin in the game. Such a divide is visible in the banking sector as well. Modern-day bankers play with other people's money, chasing personal gains without risking their own assets. Take for instance, medieval Catalonia, where failed bankers faced beheading, a harsh yet effective incentive to act in the best interest of the community. Unlike their historical counterparts, today's bankers collect huge bonuses when they succeed and face minimal personal loss when they fail. The problem lies in experts thriving on anti-fragility while the general public pays the price. Society must address this alarming issue so that accountability and progress can be reintroduced to multiple disciplines and create a fairer, more sustainable world. Embracing Volatility for Stability Many modern politicians and economists aim to smoothen economic cycles by intervening with complex theories and policies. Doing so disregards the importance of volatility for maintaining a system's anti-fragility. Our desire to control unpredictable nature results in naive interventionism, unintentionally increasing system fragility. It's essential to remember that volatility helps expose and address problems before they escalate, preventing catastrophic consequences. By accepting and embracing volatility, we can foster greater resilience and stability in our society. While it may seem counterintuitive, the economic cycle's inherent booms and busts provide necessary vitality for a system's anti-fragility. As our knowledge expands, we often become overconfident in our ability to control unforeseen elements. This misguided attempt at establishing stability leads to naive interventionism, wherein we unknowingly make systems more fragile and disrupt their anti-fragility. It's crucial to recognize that volatility exposes hidden problems, hindering them from growing to disastrous proportions. Drawing a parallel to a forest, smaller fires naturally occur, removing flammable materials while preserving most trees. These smaller fires represent volatile elements that prevent catastrophic fires from occurring. When we attempt to suppress volatility, we set the stage for larger, potentially devastating events. By acknowledging the necessity of volatility, we can foster a more resilient and robust society, defying the desire for a false sense of stability. The Turkey's Prediction Mistake 
Like an unsuspecting turkey before Thanksgiving, we too tend to make predictions about the future based on a limited view of the past, an issue we refer to as the turkey problem. This misinterpretation of the past is prevalent in universities, business schools, and newspapers, causing companies to spend millions on strategists and risk management efforts to avert future disasters. Our narrow perception of the worst-case scenarios can also create dangerous blind spots, as we falsely assume that our past experiences solely define future possibilities. For example, the designers of the Fukushima nuclear reactor only prepared for the largest earthquake in history, not realizing a more catastrophic event could take place. To avoid the Turkey problem, we must recognize and challenge our assumptions about the past, the future, and our unseen vulnerabilities. Unraveling Antifragility's Power the Industrial Revolution is often credited to scientific progress, yet it was largely driven by amateurs and hobbyists exploring new ideas and inventions through trial and error, forming an anti-fragile system. This misconception exemplifies society's failure to recognize the significance of anti-fragility, instead seeking deterministic narratives to rationalize historical advancements. Modern professionals in scientific fields often gain prestige and funding from promises of groundbreaking discoveries. However, the reliance on theoretical knowledge alone is insufficient for true progress, we must also embrace the randomness and anti-fragility that foster real change. Society currently underestimates the vital role anti-fragility plays in creating breakthroughs and advancements. Embracing Anti-Fragility Anti-fragility is a fundamental aspect of human progress, fostering growth and improvement in uncertain environments. When faced with stress and volatility, anti-fragile systems thrive, as opposed to fragile items that break. To harness anti-fragility, one must recognize and seize opportunities without overanalyzing, manage risks, and benefit from unpredictable events. Unfortunately, modern society poses a threat to anti-fragility, as many professions benefit from it at the expense of others. Simultaneously, our pursuit to eliminate volatility could lead to increased societal fragility. Furthermore, modern teaching methodologies, plagued by the turkey problem, inaccurately predict the future by misinterpreting the past, ultimately undervaluing the role anti-fragility plays in driving human progress. Anti-fragility is a powerful quality that has driven human progress throughout history. It thrives in unstable environments, allowing systems to grow, adapt, and improve. Taleb's Anti-Fragile illuminates examples of such systems and illustrates how to harness anti-fragility for personal and professional success. However, modern society's attempts to create a smooth and tranquil world could lead to greater fragility. Current practices in professions, risk management, and our approach to progress could be detrimental to anti-fragility. By understanding the power and importance of anti-fragility, we can strive to maintain its profound influence for a resilient and adaptive society.